Dad, hmm? why is it customary for a woman to cook in a marriage? Well, by law, you have to feed the prisoner. Dang. You know, I told y'all months ago when Ben Affleck married J-Lo after she had already said that the guys who were in music were better lovers than he is. And she had already, after their breakup, gone with this guy and that guy and this guy and that guy. And she also has this long history of being a jump around in the industry, even from her living color days. When I said he was making a mistake marrying her because she was only with him because he was her best option, you guys are right, I lied. In this particular society, a woman's best option, even in her 40s, 50s, 60s, has now become to just be out here on a fantastic voyage. You can go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. Welcome to the Alphasphere. Welcome to the Alphasphere, the only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity and totally submerged in alpha energy. I'm your host, Dr. B.O.A. See, I've been wrong all of this time saying that the Thotastic Voyage ends at a certain time. It doesn't. A woman can travel that road as long as she wants to. If she keeps any semblance of the beauty she once had when she was younger, she could be on the Thotastic Voyage literally forever. Sometimes, if you look at a woman's history, you know what you're dealing with. And in this case, all you have to do is go back with J-Lo to the incident when she was in the movie Money Train with Wesley Snipes and 25 years later she comes out and says Wesley Snipes forced her to do an intimate scene even though he was not the director. Out of all the people who were in charge of that movie he was just an actor. Now he was an A-list actor at that time but nonetheless there was a director, producer, there were writers, all of these things but she decides to blame the black guy, Wesley Snipes, for her decision to use this scene to catapult her career. J-Lo, who is better in bed? Dancers, singers, or actors? You already know. <laughs> you already know. I have to say that in my limited experience, yes. <laughs> I would have to say anybody involved in music. So I would say singers and dancers. Singers and dancers. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a movie called Money Train. It's Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrelson, Jennifer Lopez. In that movie, there's a sex scene with Jennifer Lopez and Wesley Snipes. She said absolutely that she didn't want to do that. And she said some other things about Snipes that sound pretty similar to what's going on today with some of these guys where a woman is coming out of the woodworks and saying something. Now, all of this time, this woman has been around and she's been doing all of these interviews and she's been all over the place. Suddenly, this comes up about Wesley Snipes. And I'll be honest with you. It seems to be right as this guy is trying to make a comeback in Hollywood to pay off some of the IRS debt that he's in. She says during the sex scene, she, she felt violated. She said the experience was very uncomfortable. So. Of course, she's going to say he wanted to take their on-screen romance off-screen, which I don't deny. Jennifer Lopez was a stoner when she was younger, boy. I ain't going to lie to you. When she played Selena, she was bad. Let's keep it above. So in the film, her name was Grace. She was a transit officer. And her character developed feelings for his, Officer John Robinson. And then they fell for one another. And it culminates into a love scene. Now, here's the thing about the love scene. She addressed how horrible the experience was for her. She said that the scene was never in the script and added in halfway through film. She didn't even want to do it. But of course, Wesley told her, look, and Wesley was the man back then. And he told her, look, if you don't do this, you're going to get a bad name in Hollywood. That's difficult to work with. We're going to spread the word on you, Charlotte. You know, just using prestige and power, man, to, you know, push a woman into a corner. Now, if this is true, then the bottom line is everyone has a decision to make. So at that point, she had a decision she could have made. She could have said, well, no, I'm not with that. Do what you got to do. She decided she was going to go ahead and do it. Of course, she, she said the leading man who was Snipes pressured her into it. 
saying, um, you know, it was her big break and he really pressured her into it. He told her if the scene wasn't hot enough, her power would end up getting cut, and that it would be bad for her career and she'd get a reputation that's difficult to work with. She said she felt uncomfortable, so when they were doing it, they were both completely nude and the only thing was a sock on his wood. And say so he caught wood when he was in that man. So, you know, he bricked up, man, with a sock on his wood, man. And um, he said, well, she said, wasn't nothing between them, man. And she was just there doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wasn't nothing between them. And he was all on her, man. I mean, the love scene was pretty authentic, man. It was pretty authentic. I don't even lie to you. It looked real. So when you think about it, man, you have to ask yourself, why are these women coming up with all of these things right now all of a sudden, man? You know what I'm saying? She old now. Oh now. What, what does this even matter? Why would she even bring this up right now? Why would you wait all this time to bring some up, man? I'm telling you, man. And it's not like it slipped her mind. This was her first big role. So she'll never forget that. This was her first big role, her first love scene in a movie. Why would she act like she forgot it, man, and bring it up now, man? This shit is so irrelevant, man. That's why I tell you, man, you have to stop listening to guys who tell you that you need to just go and be sleep with as many women as you can because you never know when something's going to come up to bite you. All you got to do is become successful. Nothing may come ever come up to bite you if you don't get to no money. But if you mess around and figure out how to get to some money and you get some prestige and a name, man, some woman going to come out of the root works from your past and say you did something, man. That's just how it goes. You have to keep in mind that as a man, you are not here to be a woman's human pleasure to you. You're not here for that. You're not here to be something that a woman can use to make herself feel good. I want you men to stop selling yourself short. Stop treating yourself like you can't do without a woman. Stop treating yourself like this woman is so amazing that you got to go through, pull out all the stops just to be with her. And this guy wasn't even doing a real sex scene. It was it was a simulated sex scene. And he went through all this. Let me tell y'all something, man. No woman should make you get out of character. No woman should make you feel comfortable getting out of character because the very moment you get out of character is the very moment you don't know who you are and if you don't know who you are you're dealing with whoever you're dealing with as a stranger it's kind of like if you present yourself as something you're not you're not getting what you could normally get you're getting the reward of that fictional character that's a reward that character gets you wouldn't get the same reward. and i want you then to always remember you deserve what you demand, but you also deserve what you accept. And if you accept a woman coming to be with you by force or by, you know, coercion or something like that, man, it is not the most incredible thing. It is not the most respectable thing. It is not the most commendable thing. And it certainly is not alpha at all. We are men. You men say you are the prize all the time. But then you have men like this, who was the prize, treating a woman like she's the prize anyway. Stop being led by your wood because being led by your wood never ends up good. Now, when you think about how a woman like Jennifer Lopez would do this right now while she's in a relationship with someone, that's the thing that women, women don't care about the man they're with. The, the man women care about the least is the man they're with in a relationship because he is just a part of her life. He's just routine now. After a certain amount of time, man, a woman cares nothing about you. She will say anything in public and do anything. That's the same thing that Will Smith has got going on right now. And I'm going to be honest with you. I got a video coming up, man, that's going to shine a new light on Jada Pinkett Smith. And we've been giving her a bad break, man. We've been giving her a bad break. Because if these are the types of things that Will does regularly, man, that woman has every right to be treating him like the beta male sent man John. That he obviously is. This is gonna change a lot of your minds. But as far as this particular video right here goes, Jennifer Lopez is wrong for bringing this up right now. The statute of limitations is run out on it. It makes no sense to bring it up. That man is trying to rebuild his career. So why bring something up this late in the game? It's almost like she sees that man's career and says, No, you'll never work in this town again. Because here's what I'm about to tell the people never believe. Any advance you've made to a woman or any intimate interaction you've had with a woman can't possibly come back to bite you because there are men every day with brand new bite marks on, on their psyche, on their spirit, and on their bank accounts because of something that happened 20 years ago. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out. I was up, down, it's the mind.
motto. Sims claiming that they pimps, but they not though. Alpha sub betas down, it's the motto. Suckers claiming to be players, but they not though. Alpha sub betas down, it's the motto. Tricks acting like they max, but they not though. Alpha sub betas down, it's the motto. Betas claiming to be alpha, but they not though.